No empty seat during China's Spring Festival travel season, famously known as the largest annual human migration on the planet. On this slow train traversing through northeastern China's snowy hills, some are spending the commute shaving. Others are watching an unusual performance of local folk dances. How popular is this special program on the train? Just look at all the people behind me. I cannot even get a view. I'm glad my cameraman is there. This man behind me is really confused. Why am I speaking English? <laughs> Among the more than 12,000 trains running each day in the country, this is probably the only one where the conductors are stuffed in animal costumes. It's all part of this young rail worker's plan to promote her hometown's agricultural products. The bean buns are made raw and taste very authentic. By moving these stalls onto the train and incorporating entertainment, Hu is giving these rural sellers much needed traffic and exposure. This year, everyone is talking about revitalization of the Northeast. We see Harbin's tourism boom, and we also want the same. These small rural private businesses in Chichihar make lots of great products. For the extrovert passengers on the train, new business connections were already made between stops. Is this your new friend? Why did you add him on WeChat? The northeastern region is known as China's Rust Belt and has been suffering from a brain drain for decades. But some young people's attitudes seem to be changing. This college sophomore studying in Hubei says she would like to come back after graduation to contribute to her hometown's growth. You don't want to go to the big cities after you graduate? No. Really? <laughs> yes, I just want to have a stable life and to build my hometown. Perhaps in the future, Spring Festival will see less traffic around the country because more people will be working and living near their parents.